I get so frustrated with myself when I'm at school because I feel like I'm eternally behind on reading for class, studying for tests, completing assignments. The overachieving homeschooler inside of me doesn't want to admit that sometimes you just physically can't do everything you're supposed to be doing, but I've come to the realization that sometimes this is the case, and I wanted to know why. So I kept track of everything I did for a whole week. 20 hours in class, 10 hours at work, 10 at rehearsal, but what about the other 128 hours? Am I being wasteful? Lazy? Or is there really not enough time for everything? Monday morning. I got up at 7, went to literature at 8, then Spanish at 9, history at 10. At 11, I had lunch with my conversation partner, Tiffany, who's an exchange student from South Korea. At noon, I went to creative writing colloquy, then straight to the writing lab for work at 1.30. I did homework for my Victorian literature, Spanish, and advanced nonfiction writing classes, then went back to my dorm to do honors homework. Then I went to the meeting for the real-time game of Mafia the creative writing department was playing. I was helping to administrate. I had dinner, did more Victorian lit homework, then went to rehearsal for Jeanne d'Arc from 7.30 to 9.30. When I got back, I did more reading for honors colloquium and picked out a picture for the artist's persona assignment for my non-fiction writing class. But then my neighbor Evangeline wandered in, and we ended up talking about the fault in our stars for over an hour with my roommate Nikki, who had just finished reading it. Several other people stopped in during this time, and afterwards I ended up having multiple conversations between my walk to and from the bathroom. Dorm life. By this time, it was 1 a.m., so I made tea and kept working on my honors homework. It was around 2 when I reached a stopping point, and by then I'd been listening to Bonnie Vare for an hour and was on the verge of a breakdown. Sad music, fatigue, and frustrating homework are generally not a good mix. I found myself thinking, it's too early in the week for me to be this tired, but then I was reminded that I really haven't had successive nights of adequate sleep since December. I did a bit more Victorian lit reading and went to bed around 2.30. Tuesday morning, after five hours of sleep, I got up and went to the gym with some friends. I ate breakfast, sorted out significant errors in the Victorian lit syllabus, and did a bit more reading before my Victorian literature class at 9.25. I chatted with the professor for a bit after class before running up to 11 o'clock chapel. Afterward, I walked back in the rain to the room, edited my honors assignment, worked on my aesthetic essay for nonfiction, walked in the rain to lunch, and went to nonfiction class. I had an hour break before honors, and so I talked with some friends and ate a scone. Then I had honors from 4 to 6, work from 6 to 7, then off to rehearsal, 7.30 to 9.30. When I got back, I did dishes, worked on my essay, did some reading for Victorian Lit, and went to bed around 1.40. After five and a quarter hours of sleep, I got up and went to literature, Spanish, and history, then back to the dorm to work on my essay, then to lunch, and my long afternoon in the writing lab, 1 to 5. I helped several people while I was there, but I did get some studying done too. It's a pretty chill job most of the time. I went straight away to the Mafia meeting and watched my roommate be slated for execution. Then a quick supper and back to work from 6 to 7, then rehearsal from 7.30 to 9.30 in which several cast members hid in their lockers. That night I worked on my essay, studied for my forthcoming Victorian literature test, and went to bed around 1.30. I got about 6 hours of sleep and was feeling pretty good when I woke up. I studied instead of going to the gym, then went and took the test. It took me two hours to complete, 33 questions, all short answer, and then I had lunch. I messed around on the internet for a while, did final edits on my essay, and turned it in at 1.45 for class. I had a bit of a break before work, 4 to 5, then I went to the final Mafia meeting in which the Mafia were defeated, but the Godfather gave a pretty awesome death speech. Quick supper and back to the lab, 6 to 7. Rehearsal as usual, 7.30 to 9.30, and then when I got back I had a hardcore study group for my philosophy test, which was the next morning. At one point, it did dissolve into a who can Google a picture of a more attractive man contest. I went to bed around 2.15, but I got to sleep in a little because my 8 a.m. art history class was canceled. I studied for my test, went to Spanish, then took the test. I was a bit late to editing, but we ended up going on a field trip for class, which was nice. We went to Choctaw Books, a local used bookstore junkyard that's closing soon. Then I had lunch and putzed around horribly the rest of the afternoon. My family came in that night and we all went out to dinner. We walked around campus, then they went to my brother's show and I went to rehearsal. Afterward, we went to Whataburger for milkshakes and fries, and not long after getting back, I went to bed. Saturday, we did family stuff, which included seeing my brother's show all together. My little sister Julia spent time with me and my roommate that night, and we watched some classic Pokemon. My family left Sunday morning after breakfast, and I spent the rest of the day trying to be productive, but it was hard. My friend Evangeline came to the conclusion that leisure is addicting, and I think she's absolutely right. It's hard to recover from a day off. So in the end, I spent 19 hours in class, 10 at rehearsal, about five at work actually working, a little more than 26 studying and doing homework, about 42 sleeping, about 20 with my family. That accounts for 122 hours and leaves 46 spent the little things, showering, eating, talking to friends, walking to class, bruising the internet. It seems like so much time, but during the week it felt like nothing. But that's the way it is. 
I don't know where all the time goes, just that it does, and sometimes it feels really empty, and other times it feels so full, and this week definitely felt like both. <laughs>